way to live. One way to live. One way to be. We are one. One people joined in perfect harmony. Towards the end of 2002, we realized that there were issues between the Christians and the Muslim women that we needed to trash out if we had to work together. A fun, one of my memories of this work was a consultative meeting we had. On the first day, we called the Muslim women to the meeting, and those women had, we told them, write all of your perceptions about the Christians. So we want to know all of the negative things, all of the positive things. They wrote them. The next day we called the Christian women and said, write all of your perceptions about the Muslims. And they wrote their perceptions, negative and positive. The third day we brought the two groups into the room and we did something called a gallery walk. So the Christians on one side, the Muslim on one side, and as they walk, they're reading everything that the other had written about them. And the first reaction, because we pissed at the negatives first, what? Did they really think this about us? Oh my God, what nerve. What? What? And what? And then finally when they got towards the end of the wall and they were reading the, negative, the positive things, oh, that is so sweet. But that is not true. One of, the, <laughs> <coughs> one of the things the Christian women wrote on the wall was that um, the, the Muslim women wrote they admire Christian women because they had, they, they were blessed to be sharing their husbands with only themselves. And then the Christian women turned to each other and said, really? <laughs> <laughs> but after we did that, we sat down to talk. And that conversation we had that whole afternoon led to what those of you who haven't seen the documentary will see, <clears throat> Pray the Devil Back to Hell. In September, when they were celebrating the 10th anniversary of 9-11, I was watching on telly and listening to the commentaries and listening and listening. One thing that escaped me during the entire reporting, or the one thing that I didn't see, was even after 10 years, the ability for people to tear down the negative perceptions. What happened in Liberia with us and the Christian and the Muslim women was that we had all of these perceptions, but the constant engagement was tore them down one day after the other. The world that we all are living in, we're at a place now where it is us versus them. And until we can realize and recognize that that us versus them will never serve the greater good of the world unless we get to the place where we want to find out what makes them us and what makes them and make us them. We need to get to a place where we start the journey towards tearing down the walls of perception, whether positive, whether negative, if you're in this space and you're thinking, oh, I'm a Mennonite and I'm better than the Lutheran, you need to start asking yourself, how better am I and what are some of the good things that can come from other the Lutherans? Until we can get to that space, we will continue to see the conflicts that we see in the world. People will continue to use that us versus them as a means of dividing us. Until we get to that place where an African woman dressed like this is not seen like a possible migrant, or Muslim dressed like this is not seen like a possible terrorist, we will continue to live in fear. We will continue to be afraid to achieve our fullest potential as a nation, as a people, regardless of wherever you come from. And I think the message for us, the message for this world, the message that we want to unfold to our young people is that there is no us versus them. The same God who created a Muslim is the same God who created a Christian. The way the Liberians were able to break that barrier between the women was to say, one of the women asked the other, when a Muslim goes to give birth, is it different from a Christian? When the bullet is raining on people, does the bullet count the Muslim from the Christians? 
For those of you in America here who have children and relatives that have been to Afghanistan, the cries of a mother who lost a soldier is no different from the cry of that Afghani mother who lost a son. And until we can get to that place where we start to speak the language of us together, I see your humanity. You are just like me. You are no different from me. We will continue to see the conflict that we see in this world. And I think as we leave this chapel, if you have any perception about anyone that is causing you to act negatively towards the person or stopping you from working with that person, you need to look deeper and ask yourself, I see their humanity. Do they see mine? Thank you.